Hyperthyroidism is like having a car stuck in high gear. Your thyroid, a small butterfly-shaped gland in your neck, makes too much thyroid hormone. This hormone controls your metabolism, which is how your body uses energy. When your metabolism speeds up too much, it can cause many problems. You might feel tired all the time, even though your body is working overtime. Your heart might race, and you might feel anxious or irritable. Some people lose weight even though they are eating more than usual. Hyperthyroidism is important to treat because it can lead to serious health problems if left untreated. Fortunately, there are many effective treatments for hyperthyroidism. In this article, we will discuss some of the most common treatments. Remember, it's essential to talk to your doctor to determine the best treatment plan for you. Antithyroid medications are often the first line of treatment for hyperthyroidism. These medications work by reducing the amount of thyroid hormone your thyroid makes. Think of it like turning down the thermostat in your house. Methimazole and propylthioracil are two commonly prescribed antithyroid medications. They can take several weeks or months to regulate thyroid hormone levels effectively. It's important to remember that these medications don't cure hyperthyroidism, but they can control it. Regular blood tests are crucial while taking antithyroid medication. These tests help your doctor adjust the dosage as needed and monitor for any side effects. Radioactive iodine therapy is another effective treatment option for hyperthyroidism. This treatment involves swallowing a small dose of radioactive iodine, which is absorbed by your thyroid gland. The radiation destroys some of the thyroid cells, shrinking the gland and reducing the amount of thyroid hormone it produces. It's like using a tiny targeted beam to shrink the overactive part of your thyroid. Radioactive iodine therapy is usually a one-time treatment. However, some people may need additional doses or lifelong thyroid hormone replacement therapy if their thyroid function becomes too low. Beta blockers are medications that help manage the symptoms of hyperthyroidism, such as a rapid heartbeat, trembling, and anxiety. They act like calming agents, blocking the effects of excess thyroid hormone on your body. It's important to note that beta blockers don't reduce thyroid hormone levels. They simply help control the uncomfortable symptoms, while other treatments like antithyroid medications or radioactive iodine therapy take effect. Your doctor might prescribe beta blockers along with other treatments to help you feel better while your thyroid hormone levels are being regulated. Section 5. Surgery, also known as thyroidectomy, involves removing part or all of the thyroid gland. In some cases, surgery to remove all or part of the thyroid gland might be the best option for treating hyperthyroidism. This is usually considered when other treatment options haven't been successful or are unsuitable. Surgery is a more invasive procedure than medication or radioactive iodine therapy. It involves general anesthesia and a hospital stay. After surgery, you will likely need to take lifelong thyroid hormone replacement medication to maintain normal thyroid function. Your doctor will discuss the risks and benefits of thyroidectomy with you if it's a possible treatment option. Section 6. Living well with hyperthyroidism, lifestyle and diet. Making certain lifestyle and dietary changes can also play a role in managing hyperthyroidism. While these changes might not cure the condition, they can help you feel better and support your overall health. Eating a balanced diet, getting regular exercise, and managing stress through techniques like yoga or meditation can be beneficial. It's also essential to avoid smoking, as it can worsen hyperthyroidism symptoms. Your doctor or a registered dietitian can provide personalized advice on lifestyle and dietary modifications that may be helpful for you. Section 7. Keeping an eye on your thyroid, regular checkups. Regular monitoring and follow-up appointments with your healthcare provider are essential when managing hyperthyroidism. These appointments allow your doctor to monitor your thyroid hormone levels, adjust medication dosages as needed, and check for any potential side effects. During your checkups, be sure to discuss any concerns or questions you have about your treatment plan or your overall health. Your active participation in your healthcare is crucial for successful hyperthyroidism management. Remember, managing hyperthyroidism is a team effort, and your doctor is your partner in this journey. Section 8. Alternative and Complementary Therapies Exploring Other Options In addition to conventional medical treatments, some people with hyperthyroidism explore alternative and complementary therapies. These therapies may include acupuncture, herbal remedies, or dietary supplements. 
It's important to note that the effectiveness and safety of these therapies can vary, and they should not be considered a replacement for conventional medical treatment. It's crucial to discuss any alternative therapies you are considering with your doctor to ensure they are safe for you and won't interact with your other medications. Your doctor can help you weigh the potential benefits and risks of alternative therapies and guide you towards evidence-based options. Section 9. Conclusion. Your thyroid health matters. Hyperthyroidism can significantly impact your health and well-being. It's a condition that requires careful management and a collaborative approach between you and your healthcare provider. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. With the right treatment and support, you can successfully manage your hyperthyroidism and live a full and active life. If you are experiencing any symptoms of hyperthyroidism, don't hesitate to seek professional medical advice. Early diagnosis and treatment are essential for preventing complications and maintaining optimal health. Your thyroid health matters, so take charge today and talk to your doctor.